Welcome everybody to 40 Runs and our 40 Runs Challenge HQ. Yes, we are back with one of our epic challenge videos. Now, if you've not seen any of these before, we've jumped out of a plane and done some running. Uh, we've run up a, a mountain, a very high mountain here in the UK. Uh, we've raced to Scotland. Uh, we've run around an island and we've done all sorts of stuff. Now, these challenges are loosely running related. Um, but yeah, they're basically us going out and having some fun. So this is our latest challenge video, and in this video, we're going to be running to the air. And you're thinking, what on earth is he going on about? Well. We started having a conversation on one of our long runs, which actually turned into an argument, which is how most of these things go. And we said, don't you think as runners we should be doing more? Because the cost of living crisis is crazy over here in the UK. Let me know where you are in the world. But here in the UK, as an example, a pint of milk costs about £3,000. And it's actually cheaper at the moment to fill your uh, car up with gold than it is petrol. So we were discussing this and we were saying like, really as runners, we should probably be doing more. Like you can run to get the newspaper, you can you know, run to, do, to the shops and all this kind of stuff. So we started thinking about that. And then we said, well, it is like the school holidays, so what else could we be doing? So then I said to the boys, I've had a brilliant idea. Why don't we try and prove to people that instead of getting in a taxi or paying 3,000 pounds an hour to park a Stansted Airport, that we could actually get and prove to people they could run to the airport. And this could start a craze across the world that people are running to the airport to go on holiday. Now, Stansted Airport is one of the biggest airports here in the UK. And I live under the flight path. Uh, not like they're like crashing over my head, but you can see the planes. And that's the other thing that got me thinking about it. Now, I looked on the map and it's about ish 30 odd miles if you go you have to go up and go across basically and it's about 30 odd miles i think um again i've not done a hell of a lot of work, a hell of a lot of work on it's friday and i'm like looking today going tomorrow um so yes yeah, so i thought to myself well it ain't gonna be that far we could probably bust that out that's no problem um what we'll do is we'll just run up the river stalk now if you see some of the recent videos we've been heading up the stall, uh, which runs up to Bishop Stalford, um, and then just cut across. So um, that's what we're going to do. We're, gonna, we're basically going to get on the river, pretty much near Simon's house, uh, and run up the river stall, and then at some point turn off. We're going to use the, uh, our watches, um, the maps on our watches, and sort of, yeah, work our way up to Stansted Airport. Now, we think that the, the route that we've sort of worked out ish, and this is really ish, because we don't know the terrain, we don't know if we're going to cross farmers' fields in people's houses, whatever, works out at just over 21 miles, which does give us a problem for one of our friends. Now, if you follow the channel, you'll know that Toby's been broken. Um, and we said to Toby, uh, come and do a 16 mile run with us. Uh, we told him 16 miles because if we said to him 21 miles, there's no way he would do it. And he was still arguing uh, today and yesterday that he's not going to do the run. Um, because one, it's too early because we're meeting at Simon's at 7.30 and two, that it's 16 miles is too far. So can you imagine what he's going to be like when he realises that we're actually running 21 miles and we're running all the way to the airport? Now, so Toby's got absolutely no idea that this is going to be longer than 16 miles. And I'm guessing at some point he's going to try and turn around because I know Toby very well. Um, firstly, I'll, he's got to turn up in the morning, so that'd be nice. And secondly, let's see what he does at sort of eight miles, I'm guessing. Um, but yeah, so he hasn't got a clue what's going on. We, we know that it's 21 miles and change-ish. Could be more, could be less. You know what GPS is like. We don't really know the route. We don't know, say, we know we're going up the river, but after that, we don't know. And yeah, but more importantly than anything else, we want to prove to you that you can be running to places more with this cost of living crisis. And this summer holidays, we want to prove to you that you can run to the airport. So that's it. You're up to speed. I will see you now at 7.30 at Simon's house as we run to the airport.
So we're back out and running boys. Beautiful morning, already arguing about the pace. He's meant to be pacing us. That's the pace back there. Nat's sat in the middle. Because we don't want to ruin ourselves this early. It's nice to run along even the shade, I'll tell you that now. Tobe, you enjoying your run so far? Yeah, it's nice and quiet back here. I think that's why Tobe's at the backside. So I'm, you don't have to I'm listen just, to me. I'm just glad he's back. I'm just glad he's back. We've missed you, Spigo. We've missed you. Sit right, we're at Royden. We just say to Tobe, because he says he don't know where he's going. We just keep going to the river ends, don't we? Right, basically. What's the worst that can happen? What's the worst that can happen, Tobe? I'm just keep, you two, so... We just keep going. It'll be all right. At some point... At some point, your legs will stop. Your legs will stop, and we'll have to come off the river. At some point. So we've got to go right here. Get back on the river. Yeah, so it'll be all right, Tobe. Don't, don't worry about it. We just keep going down the river. All the way. Tell when we're well into the run when we're talking about food. <laughs> it's like already talking about Burger King, KFC. Oh, it is. We're, yeah. working out where we're, we're already working out where, oh, where we're going to eat at the end of this. Right yeah, no. This way, Toe, this way. Come on. Well, just follow the river, Toe. Just follow the river. Yeah, I know, but just keep going. Just keep going till it runs out. What's that? Oh yeah, I'm sure the council can ask trust to come down here, Tug. Cut, oh, cut the route for us. No, you're just too tall. No. But to be fair, he's doing a good job on the pace inside. Great job. Isn't he? No complaints. No complaints back here at the moment. <laughs> Any value as he goes up the river. All the way. Sit rep. Toe's worrying about the route. Toe, what are you worried about? I ain't about it, I just said that uh, I'm sure it's longer than you two are making out it is. It's not going up the river. Yeah, how yeah. far? Well, as far as, it, as I said to you, I don't know what it was. I've not seen the route yeah. other than the fact we go up here yeah. and we turn off. Yeah. yeah. That's all I know. Okay. Isn't it? Yeah, 100%. 100%, see? Yeah. We weren't like you, Tom. Yeah, yeah. Are no. oh, we going up the river? Yeah, the we, we are on the river. I'm denied that bit. Yeah. No, we will turn off for this, I'm sure, at some point, we'll say. Bench, I'm coming. Yeah, I don't know. Right, first gel. You all feeling, Toby? You feeling? What are you doing? What are you doing? He's actually going back. Look, 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 look. He actually went back to the point. Me and Ty are just walking like we couldn't give a shit. And he's just walked back to the point. Let me know in the comments. Do you do what Toby just did? He doesn't want to go any further. He doesn't want to do miles. any more than 16 miles. He's gone back to the point. And we just started. What? That ain't normal. It ain't normal. Boys, I think we're in somebody's house. Look, somebody's house there. Is this? I think we've just gone through somebody's ass. Oh, it's not about that. If you live there, bang toe. Be fair, I think we'll be alright. Yeah, so sorry, sorry about that. <laughs> just going through eight miles now. What's the call? What's the call? Say, Si? Straight on, straight on. Might have been turning straight on again. Straight on. What, should we turn off up here? I've okay, got a half a mile. When we get to the main road, okay. turn, then go straight on again. Yeah. Keep going up the river. Yeah. What's that sign say? Man, what, no, man? 
may it what? May, may it may come and go and but the river runs forever. There you go. And we've gone through eight miles. What's my car? You know where we are? Yeah, know, that's the way to sort That's Shawbridgeworth. No, General Shock. That is Shawbridgeworth down there. The Rivers Hospital's down there. Yeah. Drink. Come on, Chad. Let's go. Not long. No. How long? Roughly. I know it's longer than you said it was. I'm not an idiot. I'm not sure. I'm not 100% sure. No, I said. No, no, no. What about if we go that way, but we get a different mode of transport back? Yeah. What happens if we sort of carry on going that way for another 12 mile? And then we've got, got your Burger King and an Uber back. It'll be, it'll be good. So, some of it's got to be walked. Some well. of it's got to be walked. We've got to walk some of it. The max we will do, max, is 19 miles. Yeah. 19 miles, so that's three more than you was going to do. Yeah, but it's only three more, and we're going to be walking a fair amount of it, to be fair. Just thinking of viewers. Thinking of viewers, so. Oh, wait, wait. Probably shouldn't be filming while I'm doing this, and by the road. But think about the viewers wanting to see you complete the challenge of running the Stansted Airport. Come on, Tom. You'll be all right. We're getting Uber back. We're going to get an Uber back, aren't we? Yeah, because there's no trains. There's no trains. There generally is no trains. I know that. Huh? So I think we carry on. It's 19 miles. So you're only doing three more, and we'll walk. How about we walk the last mile? Yeah. So you're only doing 18. Got to run through a forest, and there's a cafe in the forest. There's a cafe in the forest, which we're stopping at. All depend that. Yeah, so that's that's 18 miles, cafe. We come off the river in another six. Yeah. Come on, what, what's the worst that could happen? We're going to be walking. Oh, well, we don't need to get moving. Come, really on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, Tobe. Where are we going? Down here. Come on. Tobe, come on. Tobe, six come more on. miles. Come on, Tobe. Hang on, no, 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 it's that way. Wait. Come on. Come, Tobe, come on. Tobe, we're going to get, come on. Chub, come on! Come on! Come on, Chub! Oh no! Is he coming? He's, He's actually not coming back. He has not He has. He's gone. No. No. He's actually gone, viewers. He's actually gone. We can't believe it. Is he gone? I know, he's still there, he's still there, he's still there. So, come on! Is he, is he not coming? I don't know, he's getting his hat out of his bag. So, six more miles! No, I, I mean, I might be a little bit wrong with the maths. Come on, it'll be good. Burger King, I'll buy you Burger King. I'll buy you Burger King. Come on. We lost him. Oh, man down. Man down. Man down. What an end, people. What an end to the show. Let's get that right. He made eight miles. He made eight miles. Right, we better carry on then. It, it looks like you can only two of you can run to the airport. Well, we ain't got there yet. So, just to know. Speako, we broke him. We broke the speako. He turned around at eight. He didn't want to run to the airport. Is he not actually coming? He's not actually coming. He's not actually coming. He's left us. Can't believe it, viewers. Let us know in the comments. Are you now switching off? Because speako's left us. Oh well, that was the end of that then. We tried to sell it. Be fair. I bought it down to 19 miles instead of telling him it was 21. So. Well, a 21 tyre is at best. It could, be, a, run back it could be actually be longer. The problem is now we don't get to see. Oh, he's coming! He's coming! He's coming! Oh, let's yeah, he's coming, Toby! Hey, hey! My guy, look, he's coming! He won't be able to resist. He couldn't resist. He wants to be with the boys. What a legend! Let's wait for him. We're yeah, running. yeah. He, wa he wanted the Burger King. Coming, I want to give him a hug. What we'll do, we'll get, to, we'll get to a 19 and go 21. Yeah, no, don't, don't tell him, don't tell him, don't tell him it's 21. Here he comes. 
I guarantee he's going to say he's going to turn around at like 18 miles. <laughs> Nothing like peer pressure. Oh, Tom, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. It was the Burger King that swayed it. So be fair, it was the Burger King that swayed it. Oh, no, what, are you having porridge? Yep. He's back, speed goes back. The boys are reunited. We are heading to Stancy Airport. I know no idea where we are. Any ideas where we are? Oh, Shear Mill Lock 6. Don't know where that is. Hey, Pinto. Yeah. Loving life? Yeah. He's loving life, Ty. Oh, Tell you what, these ain't bad. Right, so, it's just saying, we've got to get to mile 15. I think that's a, the key milestone. So the next few miles are going to be the hard graft. I think, boys, I think that's it's going to be yeah. tough, in this it? Because it's and warm here. Warm. It's getting warm. But it's where we're going to dig in. So it feels like we've been going forever. Yeah, let's sort of think about it. All right. So, yeah, this is it now. This is the slog. Hope's checked out. But wait for this, I'm gonna give him some good news because guess what I've just seen? I can see the control tower for the airport. I kid you not, Sai. Just seen it. So, I've got some good news. Genuine good news. Behind that tree, we can see the control tower. Yeah. So that means, bruv, we're there. See it, Sai? Yeah. We're there. Woo! Now far to go boys, I can see the control tower. Cross check, doors to manual. cut out at the end because we found out when we got back um, that we had no sound on the GoPro uh, which is quite frustrating so, but lucky enough we got a lot of stuff on the Insta360 as you saw through the video today but what an epic challenge so 21 and a half miles in the end to Stansted Airport through the front door uh, it was it was hilarious uh, with Toby today he we basically broke him and then and then when we got back he we thought he was gonna puke and we, we literally destroyed the boy today i mean he did well to get 21 and a half miles done today and he's and he's literally not run at all was was quality but the 
the banter all the way. It's, just, it's a shame the GoPro didn't pick it up um, <laughs> at the end because it, it was absolute quality and when he didn't oh when he didn't want to come but i tell you that was that was one of the hardest challenges we've done but it does prove which is what we're trying to say in this video that you can run to the airport you can run to places and, and when, we, when we've told people since we got back that we ran to stanton airport today they've gone you did what oh i tell you it was it's one of our craziest um and it was more it was more today, I think, about the three of us running uh, together. And I think you see it in, in the video if you stay, you know, thanks a lot for staying to the end. But if you saw it in the video, when the pure excitement of when, when I saw Toby coming towards me. Yeah, it was just, I think that says it, that says it all really about this video more than anything else. It was not necessarily the, the, the challenge itself was, was hilarious and was a laugh. And it was tough, people. It was tough. But on the, on the plus side, I felt all right at the end. I probably could have carried on to do more miles um but it was it was more the fact of the three of us getting it done together and that's the that's the amazing thing and hopefully that came through but we got some prop when we was running up stansted airport it, it and you saw uh, it, where it, i'm running past us welcome to stansted it's the bus lane we was going up the looks we were getting it was quality and then when we sort of fell into the airport <laughs> <laughs> it was actually, you couldn't make it up it was it, yeah it was brilliant it was brilliant so yeah sorry sorry about the the sound at the end uh when we finished but yeah yeah it it that, that was hard that was the the, the bit along the river bank for because we went literally yeah all the way up to 14 and a half 15 miles dead flat and um, dead straight up the river and it was just getting longer and longer and it went really really quiet um during like that sort of t 10 to 14 area like none of us were talking to each other i actually put some music on to try and <laughs> try and bait, lift the mood but then the boy said my music was rubbish but it was a really dark point and then we got out onto the road and, and then we, we got into the forest and it was fine but then we broke time um yeah Got the ice cream, that helped. Uh, got the water. Oh man, it was so good. It was such a good day. It really was. It was. It was such a good day. Um, yeah, I love it. I, 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 I love. I, I love just what we do. It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. So, to conclude the video, if if firstly, prove that you can run to the airport. Um, secondly, I think you know, I just love running with the boys. Um, and making these sort of videos and yeah if, have you got a challenge for us this is what i want to know so if you stuck around this long to the end of the video you know drop it in the comments or email use the long run show email uh, I, I can't remember what it is. um something uh, long run show long run show at gmail.com and send it in put it up attention fully and and let us know what challenge we can do we've got ben nevis coming up um and after that we've got a plan for next year so let us know what challenges um it doesn't have to be in the uk so let us know what you think we should do next but that ah oh, that was epic that really was we at the end we was we was helping to we was walking with him for parts and and we would have done the same the boys would have done the same actually would they have done the same for me probably not but yeah we're just trying to get everybody across the line oh i love it what a great day and, that, and that's the brilliant thing about running right and that's the brilliant thing about everything that we do at 40 runs but is that coming together, it doesn't matter what ability you are, whatever, right? Just have fun, which is what we did today. And do something awesome. Right, that's it. I'll catch you guys on the next challenge video.